we're going to transform a PNG image into a vector, technically an SVG, so it saves on size and is scalable within our WordPress website. If you didn't notice, we're using vectorizer.ai, but here's what we're going to do. I have a copy of our logo, and it's currently 133 pixels wide and 40 pixels high. Let's go and download it as a PNG. Either way, this is built in Canva. The image is 61 kilobytes in size. Now let's drag that image into vectorizer.ai literally like this. I'm doing it real time. It doesn't take long to convert and we can actually see the results. We have the original image and we have the vectorized result. I don't know about you, but that's looking pretty damn clean. Let's go and download it. The size has gone to 15 kilobytes, but what would have happened if I dragged through a WebP image? Let's test it out. So I'm on bulkresizephotos.com and I'm going to drag in the original PNG, which was 61 kilobytes set it to be the same size and we're going to set it to be a WebP and I'm actually going to leave the quality at 90% and that's reduced it to 28 kilobytes. Now let's put the WebP image into vectorizer.ai. Now unfortunately here it has not preserved the transparent background. Technically the WebP would have worked okay but we can see here that if you've got a transparent background use a PNG. If it, it does not have a transparent background then a WebP is fine. And out of curiosity when I downloaded this as an SVG the size is actually bigger so here's my recommendation okay. Put your PNG file in uh, to vectorizer.ai let it convert and then download it. And that will actually technically work out smaller than a WebP. I'm on a WordPress website. I'm going to drop in an icon and I'm going to upload our SVG. There's the first one we generated, which is 15 kilobytes. That's gone in and you can see it's looking pretty damn small there. So I'm just going to go over and modify the size of it. Look at that. It's not losing the quality of its sizing. So if anyone has got logos or anything where you know, they're loading through images and they want to resort to using an SVG. Vectorizer.ai could be the solution to your problem. Now then, if you have a hero banner image that is very, very detailed, converting into an SVG is not always going to give you the desirable results that you want. But if you have a logo, and this happens quite a lot when your client gives you a logo and you struggle to like, or you put it in and the quality is just not there, especially when you convert it to a WebP or you shrink it or grow it, starts to look a little bit pixelated or it's lost its sharpness, vectorizer.ai converts it into an SVG and you can size it to whatever you want. And I think this is fantastic. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and have a go with vectorizer.ai. See you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, let the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big